Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Third part of this video for this home in Stapleton having an issue. Um, so here's the thing. The original complaint was is that the person buying the home saw that the painter was painting and while she was here, her, she heard or saw the breaker pop and his light go off and then they couldn't reset it. So that came up on an inspections re report real quick. When I heard the call over the phone, it sounded like, oh, a painter needs to see trying to get the job done, it's got a 1500 watt uh, drop lamp going, and boom, you know, that might blow the breaker alone just because of the wattage. So, or maybe his cord had a short, I don't know. I figured it was something simple. So when I got out here, I started testing my arc faults, and that's not what it was. Now I'm at the point that I know that my two phases are tied somewhere. Why does that matter? Well, I can't get, I am not able to get the arc fault to set on the neutral side right now. And I have to get it to set, otherwise the, neutral, the arc fault is no good. I'm charging her 65 bucks on a breaker that could have been put in for about $8. Besides the fact that now it's not doing its purpose, which is to protect. So um, here's what we found. I think I found the issue. This is a four gang box. The panel is that way. The retreat is here. The master bedroom suite is there. The lights are off in the bathroom, which matches code. All of these plugs are on, and all these plugs in the entryway right here again is on. So right now I have the breakers. I turned off uh, 19A, which was a non-arc fault on the retreat side, and literally um, when I turned it off, nothing turned off. I came back up and I left the master bedroom on, and then I swapped the master bedroom for the retreat. Same thing. Everything that I showed you in the other video, this is still on right here. These down over here, these plugs, I've already tested these plugs. These plugs are still in the on position. All the way around, nothing has changed. Because I was hoping to see that I did one side die versus the other. Well, if two circuits are tied together and they shouldn't be, one side will not die. It will not cut off the other side of the bedroom, or in this case, the retreat. So here's this thing, is now you don't want to be using a light bulb at this point because you don't know if there's a potential of 240 here. But right now, if I just take it and touch one wire at a time, that's it. I know that there's hots there. Well, here's the thing. I'm in a switch box that's all single games. So basically, uh, or single poles, excuse me. So I know that this is my fan, it's, I know it's not a multi-branch circuit because this was our fan when I traced it and we need to put a curly tail here so another electrician might know that this is our switch side of our fan. Okay, so I could literally take this and put the switches in the on position and test my fan. I could take that same hot, turn the switch on, yep, I could te test the cams and over here, the can and the retreat. So I know these are my switch legs with the curly cues. We call them poopties, wherever the heck you want to call them, pigtails. So I know in this box, I've only potentially have an in and an out for a hot. That's it, an in and out. And when I opened this up, these two were tied together. But now that I took them apart and went down and reset the breakers and I changed and put the master bedroom circuit on B back to A where it was popping, it won't pop now. So how do I know if I have 240 here without blowing up the light bulb in my face? Well, I'm going to take my multimeter, which can put it to voltage for V, and look what I got. 248 volts. There it is. If I touch these two together, ooh, it's a little bit of a ball here. So here's the thing, even if I fix this, the arc fault's not going to set because the neutrals are tied. So I have two home runs to this box, which is what my hunch was, because that's where we would bring a home run typically, is into our switch. Not all the time. But we have to separate these neutrals. <clears throat> so I'll grab my linemans here. Now, your neutrals, 
you have to pick the same neutral for the same pigtail for going out for a switch leg. So for instance, this neutral goes to the fan. This is actually going towards my can lights in the bedroom. These guys have to stay together. And then this neutral is actually one of the incoming hots. 